Howdy folks, fishing here by the dam, was hoping for some crappie, some bass, maybe even some hybrids. Sometimes hybrids roam around here, but all I'm catching is bluegill. The wind is pretty bad too, but wait for the wind to die for a second. Where was I? Notice something very interesting. Okay, so there is some bluegill beds here. But I tried to catch them with the trout magnet. And I was struggling. Because I think it, this is different. They love the trout magnet when they're hungry because it's an insect. But I think when they're on top of the beds, they don't care for the trout magnet too much. Very interesting. Because they don't perceive the insect as a threat for their fry. At least that's what I think. So they are willing to let it go. Pass right in front of them. And somebody who is hungry might nip him. That is a bite. But very interesting. I mean, I know there is bluegill here, but I cast and cast, and I can't catch them with the trout magnet. Very strange. But I did try something else already. So I was casting, casting the float, and I can't get their attention. Then I cast a little swim bait that looks like a little fish. Now the trout magnet is a lot easier to eat than a two inch fish. And yet they attack the fish right away because they perceive the fish as a threat to their young. I don't know if they have young yet. I think that they just uh, spawned. This might be their second spawn too, but there are some beds here and there is some fish on top of the beds. Let's cast over here. But I can't get any action with the trout magnet. I did catch one bluegill with the trout magnet. I mean, if you go right in front of his mouth, okay, he'll, he'll punish you. But if it was post-spawn and they were not on top of the beds, they were done with the beds, then they would go out of their way to go and chase this trout magnet and eat it. I'm going to do a few more casts. The wind is so bad again. I'm going to do a few more casts. Now switch to little swim bait to show you what I mean. Actually, in all honesty, I did get a few bites while I was talking. You saw me set the hook a few times. But, I mean, that's still nothing, man. If this was post-spawn, they would be inhaling this trout magnet. Alright, so I'm going to cast here a 2 inch, what is it, 2 inch Kitek, yeah, swing impact, the one with the ribs. Check it out now, where was I casting? Check it out now. You see what I'm talking about? Now this is too big of a bait for bluegill normally but when they are on top of the bed they do not tolerate folks they do not tolerate that's a good one too that is a good fat papa come here whoa come here fat papa you will be released you gotta be a very nasty person to keep fish collected from beds. 
Don't tell me that it's legal. It's still nasty. Wow, I saw another one just chase it right here. All the way to the boat. Here we go. Right here. Woof. They are fierce. Oh my god. I wish you could see it. It's running like running like oh my god my god is this fun look at this papa where is my bait folks it's gone two inches of gone look at this papa ow Ugh. I think he will survive because this is the the top of the what is it called the top of the mouth this is not the gills <coughs> I hope he does survive See I knew it They're still going to hate it they hate it They hate it, folks. Oh! Yeah. I can, if I fish this spot for one hour with just Kitex, these bluegills can destroy $20 worth of Kitex pretty fast. You got a crazy glue at home. Even then, Kitek is not the best because it's so soft. Here we go. But definitely, the fish um, presentation instead of trout magnet, when they're defending their nest, a little fishy is definitely better. Look at this guy. Ooh, ooh. He ate it deep, folks. He ate it deep. Come on, man. That's a big bait. And dude, you swallowed it? I thought you just want to scare it, man. Here we go. No blood on this guy. My word, though. Should take it home and give you a close-up of what it looks like. It's so bad. I'm going to put it back on and cast it again. Don't matter, it's not straight. It's got a kicking tail. It's got a kicking tail, folks. Plus, I don't want to put a bunch of new lures here on this bluegill. Now, for crappy, I would put new fresh lure, but these bluegills, they just. That was a vicious bite again. Just vicious. Just ton! Ton! Okay, here we go. Yeah, folks, trout magnet is the king, but not always. Okay, sometimes I believe on the beds, little fishy profile is better. There we go. It slides down and it doesn't swim right. Man, that's so fun. Maybe I'll just put a fresh lure and catch a few more. They are so fun. And this one size, for me. Come here, buddy. Look at this. He's got, he's got all the colors. He is ready for a picture, folks. This dude is ready for a picture. Look at him. Beautiful. BGO. See? Blue gill. That's not gill, that's operculum. But that's how they got the name anyway. Who wants to name a fish blue operculum? 
nobody. That was a rhetorical question. Somebody always answers my rhetorical questions. Let's catch one more with this guy and we'll put a, put a fresh pour. TBD. Loaded. Loaded, folks. Man, they fun on this setup. Get you Eradicator and Vanford. And two pound Varilla Swine. And then tell me that catching bluegills is not crazy fun. Look at him. He is furious in the water. You guys cannot see, but he is just running like... Oh man, he ate it again. Come on, dude. Oh, guys, can you see this? This thing is... And this thing is in his stomach, man. Here we go, folks. No blood on this dude. I think he will make it. I did take my time not to cause harm, but let me put a new fresh bait. Alright folks, we put some fresh lure here, but without crazy glue I didn't even bother because even for one hour it cannot dry properly. So without crazy glue, even though it's brand new, the first fish that grabs it for the tail but doesn't grab the hook. Now it's pulling only for the tail, and it tears it up. Kitex are nice, but not durable. Ooh, look at this. Is this really a bluegill? Yeah, I believe it is. Man, what a run. What a run. Maybe it's not bluegill. I don't know. It, it fights like a bluegill, but it's bigger. Man, it's running 100 miles per hour. Oof, oof, oof. Come here, buddy. Oh, I'm happy to see his nose hooked. We will not damage this fish, folks. Through the nostrils. Let me tell you how big this guy is. This pugil is... Man, short of 8 inches. I cannot believe this big chunk is not even 8 inches. Look at this thing. I thought I got a hybrid in the just fraction of a second. Because there is a few hybrids left over in this lake. Illinois DNR has not stuck them in many years. But there are some leftovers and I caught a couple of times and they just they just run like trains. Well, look at this. Another cast, another fish. Yep, sometimes fish profile is better. I don't think you need expensive Kitex, to be honest with you. They do not last very long. But uh, I bought a bunch of them on uh, from Tackle Warehouse on forgot Christmas or forgot when they had a big discount. They were from five dollars, they were three fifty or something. So I bought like sixty dollar worth of them to get the free shipping for sixty bucks. Here we go. There we go. Is this a bluegill too? You gotta be kidding me man, this feels heavy man. Come on, man, this feels heavy. Ooh, look at this, socks. It's not heavy, it's baby. It's smaller than the last one. Okay, my lure is gone. You know what, I was gonna leave. But I got addicted to this now. 
Look, I have no barb. It's still sometimes difficult. I'm gonna put one more piece of um, bait here. Catch me a few more. Doesn't match my jig head, but I don't know. If the tail is kicking, I don't think they will tolerate this kind of animal around the nest. Let's get back in there. One, two, three. <laughs> Man, they are furious. I mean, I don't think they're hungry for this thing. They just hate it so bad. I don't know if it's possible for me to catch the same fish twice. Because I am releasing them. And I'm sure they can find the bed. And what if another intruder shows up? Are they gonna let the intruder go or are they gonna attack the intruder again? They're not just attacking it though, they are they are eating it pretty good. These are two inch baits. They are eating it pretty good. One, two, three. There we go. I, to be honest with you, I, I started feeling the bites on one, <laughs> but I didn't connect until three. I, maybe I connected, I just wasn't sure, and I didn't pull the trigger until three. Just absolute riot. Bluegill fishing. I don't know if. I mean, I love crappie too, 10, 11 inches. But if, if we're gonna be catching crappie under 10 inches, I prefer bluegill fishing. It's just so much fun. Look at this. It's just so much fun. They're so furious. Just Almost like everything is smaller, of course. Don't laugh but almost like salt water you know salt water fish are so much stronger and more furious and fast this one is almost the same okay everything is a lot smaller but this kind of furious run sounds if you just listen to the drag sounds like i fish salt water they're just so furious Surprised, man, not one bass, not one anything. If they stop biting, then I might get a bass. But as long as there is no bass, they'll, they'll be on top of the beds. Beautiful fish, absolutely gorgeous colors. I didn't even show it to you. I mean, three fish. And the bait is already ripped, folks. They didn't care for the change between natural color and this dark. Maybe the dark color is also natural. Nibbly, nibbly, nibbly connection. This guy is smaller, but twice as fast. I mean, you should see the circles that it's running. Just running circles like running circles like crazy and he ate it good again we go no blood Alright folks, I'm gonna end the video here even though I have at least 30 more bluegill uh, on video on this spot, but I think you get the picture. I think when the bluegill is in guardian mode, uh, they attack uh, lures that look like little fish with much bigger, you know, hatred, you know, compared to a trout magnet. So try that next time you're fishing a, a fish bed. And thank you for watching this one and I'll see you soon. Bye bye. So it sits like this forever. It will sit like this for exactly 3 seconds. Wow.